of the heart the mouth speaks your first assignment is not your speech your first assignment is your heart is that true yes when your heart becomes full of that reality you cannot but speak mark 11 and verse 23 and 24 mark 11 23 and 24 verily i say unto you whosoever shall say to this mountain mountain there means anything at all that can limit you be thou removed be cast into the sea and shall not doubt what's it now shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe here it is again that those things which he saith, not just he believed from believing he saith. it is what you say believing you see that that shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith. the law Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. You must learn to speak the word of God. See, let me tell you, this is not a word of faith thing. This is the way believers live. This entire world is activated by words. Spirits, demons, men, they all walk by words. Even God himself walks by words. Listen, when you read the same story of Esther, you will find out that before her man died, he had manipulated the king to make a decree. That decree was going to bring a total annihilation of the Jews. Is that true? Now her man had been hung up over the gallows that he built, but the decree still stood. Esther's next assignment, now that her man was gone, Israel was still in trouble. He had died, but the word had gone forth. So Esther had to find a way of meeting the king to say, Oh king, what do we do now? The king said, I have made the decree. Okay, I know how to counsel that. I will make another decree. It takes words to kill words. I will make, I can't change the decree I said, but I can use another one to superimpose it. I said yesterday I'm a failure. I said yesterday I'm defeated. I said yesterday I'm weak. I said it in ignorance or in spiritual laziness. Whether you like it or not, those words have gone. They are in your future waiting. But you can do something about it. You can send another one. Send another one. Kings change decrees by making other decrees. So I said I am a failure. I said I am weak. I said my life, the glory of God is not seen in my life. But now that I know that words carry implication, it does. It does. Words carry more than emotional implication. Emotional implication is the least level of their impact. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Is that true? Yes. Please, if it's raining um, and for any reason there is no place, if, if it means just squeezing into the canopies, we sincerely apologize. Please, ushers, PR, just help them walk. I believe that there should be more canopies, overflow three, all of them. Just squeeze. If there is need, you may need to bring some inside. It's not the best, but we may have to make do. Just make some sacrifices for tonight. It's better than leaving God's people in the rain. So let's help to manage that, please. Hallelujah. Are we together? 
if there is need for that we may have to make just shift a bit shift the chairs even if it means to add a few more chairs please I apologize but it's an inconvenience that we have is the season and there may not be anything we can do about it so please do well if you are beckoned on to make that arrangement I think we should just do that in one minute we'll be praying in the spirit while we're doing that let me be patient and allow sacrifice reminds me of Renhard Bonke crusade when I went there in the crusade you don't see it from opening prayer till the grace your prayer is to find where to stand you've heard my story I stood for six hours from 3 p.m. in the afternoon till 9 were excellent people but when times of sacrifice calls like this we must obtain grace to do our best please just cooperate with the protocol and the ushers we'll just be here if the rain subsides then the crowd is much so the canopies can only do so much hallelujah impatient because I want at least let's get a bit of our attention and then it's raining seriously whatever sacrifice you make no 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 sit down guys don't worry 
sir, mommy, our mother can come and sit on my seat. She can come and sit. Let's, there's no reason why we should allow. Just carry her gradually. She can come and sit. And then maybe one other elderly person can sit. Make sure it's one. The, the, the pastor, pastor, sir, you may come and sit in front so that there will be space. Please come. Help her. Hold her bag, my friend. Be a responsible gentleman. She's holding her bag. standing. That's all I do. The rain will not be forever, I assure you. It will subside and then we'll walk. But that's, that's the whole idea. Hallelujah. It's good you have these experiences sometimes. You will add it to your spiritual walk. So that tomorrow you can say, I remember when I was passionately seeking the things of God. I stood in the rain. I hope there are no children outside or at least safe within the canopies. If it gets bad, we're going to send the men. If it gets bad, we'll send the men. Of course, of course, of course. You should know me already. These are some of the benefits of masculinity. When duty calls, you go out. There's a canopy. Please just be patient. It's still a miracle service. Please don't leave our children outside. Everybody cannot come in. There is a limit to which. When rain falls on you, it doesn't kill you. Inside or outside, if you are from 60 years and above, just lift your hands. Somebody will stand up here for you to sit down, please. Make sure if you are not 60 years, God is, we know, you can see 60 years. Our fathers, if you don't look like any of our fathers here, don't embarrass yourself, please. If we have any elderly person who is standing, who are people of honor, arbitrarily I didn't if 60 years and above 
we'll manage it for a while. Once the weather is fine, we'll go back. Huh? Don't forget what I'm teaching. Can I continue? Are we good? Let's recap on all that I've shared. Point number one. Study and meditate on the word of God. Number two. Believe the word. Believe the word. Number three. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. It's one thing to believe. But you also have to obtain grace from God to speak. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. How do you speak the word? Number one, in prayer to God. And number two, you speak it over negative situations and circumstances. You can speak the word, returning God's word to Him. Bringing it before Him, presenting your case. But you can also speak the word over negative situations and circumstances. The Bible says to say to the mountain. So we can speak to negative situations and circumstances. Praise the Lord. Those with children, you can, you can just sit in front, at least for the time. Yeah, that's all right. Are we blessed? Praise the name of the Lord. I hope those of you who are in ministry, the younger ones you are learning, when duty calls, leaders stand up. There is no ogre. You stand up, you move. Learn it. Praise the name of the Lord. So that you don't do ministry and sit down and no. When you are a leader, you are called to serve. It is the burden of service. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two, no matter what happens in your life, always learn honor. This is a house of honor. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. You want to be able to have the privilege of living like our elderly ones, you must respect them. Please let her come. Mama, come and sit down. Don't say, I am a big man, I am rich. Keep all of that. These are spiritual principles. Honor your father and your mother in the Lord. The Bible says that it may, you may live long and that it may be well with you. This is not a teaching weekend. Otherwise, this is one of the reasons why it is not well with many young people. No matter how high you rise, no matter where you get to, never forget that these elderly people deserve your honor for life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Speak the word. How do you speak the word? To speak the word means to lift scripture and speak it over situations. Lift scripture from the Bible, not opinions. To speak the word does not mean to just talk empty talk. When Satan came to Jesus, Jesus would have said, Satan, I am not your mate. There's one song they used to sing as a devil I see near you. That's just a song. That's not scripture. You don't tell the devil, devil I see near you and he leaves. There is no record in scripture where that is a weapon of victory. You see many times we are speaking. Look up please. Let me have your attention. Many times we are speaking but what we are saying is not scriptural. That's why it does not work. It's not just to open your mouth and say something. What you are saying is it consistent with the word? Speak the word. So, let the weak say what? Let the poor say. Let those trusting God for a job declare that in the name of Jesus, favor is locating me. Based on scripture, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. You see that? I have said before you life and death and you declare I choose life. As a man of God you declare I will never be frustrated in ministry. Because the Bible says the Lord walking with them. Confirming the words with signs following. There's no barrenness in my hands. Because a command was given to me. Be fruitful. And so I declare according to God's word I am fruitful. This is how to live. It's not what you do on Sunday. The just shall live by faith. 
and one of the major portion of the faith equation is speaking consistent with scripture not consistent with feelings hey yeah it's not fair all those things only console you they don't provide solutions when satan came to jesus he said it i've taught you is written he found luke chapter 4 what was written concerning him the messianic prophecy listen to me you see why it is important to know the word because if you do not know the word you will not know what to speak what will you say you can't speak the word in ignorance my organs are functioning perfectly from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet as i grow in age i grow in strength i grow in wisdom you must speak it and believe it the favor of god is upon my life i'm like a well watered garden in the name of jesus my coming out is blessed this is what you do when you wake up in the morning it's not what you do when you are in trouble if you speak only when you are in trouble it's too late already you send the words in the future like protocol to wait for you you wake up in the morning as you are stretching this is the day that the lord has made i decree and declare that i rejoice it's god that made the day not the devil so god made the day factor in my interest i decree and declare i rejoice in the lord always again i rejoice nothing annoys me i live a life of joy and peace I'm going to the office today. I decree and declare by the hand of God, favor is waiting for me. I go forth with joy and I am led forth with peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, a thousand fall by my side, ten thousand by my right hand, none will harm me. While you are speaking, you will look like a fool until your life starts obeying you. You are a preacher in the name of Jesus. I'm going to church today. The Lord himself, Jesus is drawing as many who would receive the word, who will be planted in the house of God, who will grow. You are declaring it by the Spirit. This exam I'm about to write, in the name of Jesus, I have supernatural intelligence. There is a spirit in me and the inspiration of the Almighty is able to make me of understanding. Oh, but where will your supplies come from? Your father has, has, has stopped taking care of you. Your mother is far. You are alone. No, I'm not alone. In the name of Jesus, for thou art with me. It says, goodness and mercy should follow me. How come I mean, I can't be alone? There are spirits following me. They are not just following me for nothing. Goodness is a spirit. Mercy is a spirit. You never get stranded when these spirits follow you. Hallelujah. You hear, for instance, that there is crisis somewhere. The first thing you do before you begin the ministry of intercession is to declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm part of the body of Christ. I'm about to intercede for those who are hurting. But for now, I declare there is a wall of fire around me. I am fortified supernaturally. I never go where there is trouble. My steps are ordered by the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am delivered from the scourging tongues of men. No divination and no enchantment against me will prosper. What you are saying this the realm of the spirit the angels are saying we hear you we have been commanded to manifest the things you are saying can i tell you this medical people will tell us that part of the primary assignment of depression is to bring you to a point of silence depression brings you to a point where you no longer can speak i don't know how this life is life is unfair they just sat me like that what kind of thing is this if life is unfair you make it fair by declaring the word are we together yes the name of the lord is a strong tower i run into it and i am safe i declare that i'm supernaturally protected no weapon fashion against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against me it shall fall in judgment you are speaking that's your miracle service every day you get up in the morning and you're declaring and you step out and someone says i've been trying to reach you of course you have sent words already 
when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at work in him. The devil now says, what makes you believe that out of the 10,000 people that applied that job, you will get? Oh, the grace for honor is upon me. There is a grace that distinguishes me. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Yes. Learn to speak the word. Every believer is a talking spirit. This planet is voice activated. You activate possibilities in this kingdom through faith-filled speaking. Faith-filled speaking. When you begin to speak, it may look like nothing is happening yet. But listen to me, blessed people of God. Keep speaking. You are a man of God in the name of Jesus. One day the nations will honor the name of the Lord upon my life. I decree and declare. Though my beginning be small, I declare that my latter end. Though my beginning be small, my latter end shall surpass this beginning. While you are speaking it, you are having pictures of your village, pictures of where you are coming from, pictures of the fact that you cannot speak English very well, pictures of the fact that you did not have the opportunity to go to a, a good school. You keep declaring by the Spirit of God and watch God honor you. Everybody say, speak the word. I'm going to give you one minute. It's part of the miracle service. I'd like you to begin to declare whilst you are sitting or standing, inside or outside. Once you can hear me, those following online, declare. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. The Lord is my light and my salvation. In the name of Jesus, kept by his word, lifted by his grace. My path is as a shining light. It shines ever brighter onto the perfect day. Don't be distracted. Everything I lay my hands to do is blessed. In the name of Jesus. When men say there is a casting down. I declare in Jesus name that there is a lifting. There is a rising up. In the name of Jesus. Premature death will never, never have its toll on my life. The fullness of my days I fulfill. I shall not be a victim of the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wasted in new day. Are you speaking? Declare by the Spirit. Fortified by the power of God, fortified by the power of God, fortified by the power of God, fortified. Pray, pray, don't look around. Fortified by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare by the Spirit. I refuse to be a victim in the name of Jesus. I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. I am victorious even by the Spirit of God. Every tree that has not been planted by God is uprooted from my life, uprooted from my destiny. Every tree that is not the planting of the Lord is uprooted from my life, uprooted from my destiny. Every tree that is not the planting of God, appearing as ill health, appearing as disease, is rooted from my life. I reject failure. I reject failure. I reject failure. In the name of Jesus Christ, my life is full of victory. I reject failure by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, the word of God is lifting me. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything I do is blessed. Everything I do is blessed. Everything I do is blessed. I am blessed in the city. 
I am blessed in the country. In the name of Jesus, my going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is working for me. It's producing supernatural results in my life. In the name of Jesus, I am a sign and a wonder by the power of the word. I am a sign and a wonder. I declare by the Spirit, I am a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus Christ. Declare over your children. Declare over your family. Declare over your job. Declare over your business. Declare over ministry. Declare over your finances. The wisdom of the Spirit is at work in me. In the name of Jesus, supernatural ideas, everything I lay my hands to do is blessed. I prosper. In the name of Jesus, I prosper. Even as my soul prospers, I'm growing in the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, growing in the world, growing in power, growing in wisdom, growing in leaps and bounds. Never a worse tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Don't be tired. It's part of the miracle service. You are declaring spiritual realities. You are commanding them to be. You are commanding them to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is how it works in this kingdom. You are in business. Get into your store. Close the place and begin to speak. In the name of Jesus, I call for customers. I call for helpers. I have put all. You are a ministry. You are a man of God. Don't sit down and let your ministry go down. Don't sit down and let the devil triumph over you. Go and lock that church. Only you inside. Or you and your prayer partners or prayer warriors. And begin to speak. In the name of Jesus, the spiritual gates of this church is open. Open to receive souls. Open to receive as many who will be changed. Who will be saved. Whether in Zaria or whatever nation, there are still enough people seeking Jesus. It's Bishop Oyedeko who will say, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. It's not a cliche, it's true. Don't keep quiet and then complain about what is happening to you. Never outgrow speaking the word. Never say, I am too big. Never outgrow speaking the word. Believe me, never outgrow speaking the word. Never, those who already have results are still doing it. Don't outgrow it. Never outgrow speaking the word. Every time you are faced with negative situations, before you start calling people who cannot help you, the first thing you do is make sure your voice is registered in the realm of the spirit. I'm coming out of this. You are in a financial situation in the name of Jesus. It will not have the best of me. The wisdom of God is at work in me. I'm coming out of this situation. How will your school fees come? How will your rent be paid? How will you complete the house? In the name of Jesus, one thing I know is that the wisdom of God is at work in me. The ministry of destiny help us at work in my life. Hallelujah. Listen, nobody is blessing you. Nobody is coming by God to help you. Everybody is leaving you to suffer alone. Don't keep quiet. You may not have money, but talk is. To pray is not, you don't need money to pray. Lock yourself in the name of Jesus. Father, I am not lazy. While I am trusting you to give me ideas that lift me, destiny helpers are real. I call them by the Spirit. You are praying faithful, provoking prayers. 
Many believers sit down and live defeated lives. And yet scripture is here to guarantee your increase. For as long as I live, my mouth will not be silent over my destiny. I will speak. And what you speak must be scripture for it to work. If you speak what your tribal people believe, it will not work. If you speak what society says, it will not work. The voice of lamentation does not produce results. It is a word. Are we together? All of a sudden you sense that a pain is coming here and the devil starts lying to you. It's midlife crisis. Something is already beginning to happen. Oh, you are a man. Maybe prostrate cancer. Oh, you are a woman. Maybe something is happening. In the name of Jesus, if the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, my brother, my sister, if, if you don't begin to declare, don't wait when it's too late and you don't have the energy. In the name of Jesus, this body is prepared to serve the Lord. A body has thou prepared for me. Therefore, I declare that infirmity has no place to stay in my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural strength is working in me. You lay your hands on your mind. I am not dull. In the name of Jesus, understanding is at work in me. The spirit that gives understanding. Sometimes you can be confused as a leader, quite honestly. You don't know what to do. Do I go left or right? Instead of misleading people in pride, go to God. The Bible says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. Lord, there has to be a way out of this. There has to be a way out of this. I obtain grace. How will I pay the school fees of five children? And as it is right now, there is nothing in the bank. There has to be a way. I tap into the wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Let me give us the fourth one. So number one, study and meditate on the word. Number two, believe the word. Believe it. Number three, speak the word. Believe me. Speak the word. And then number four, obtain grace to obey the word to the latter. On the line to the latter. If you start and you stop, it's the same thing as not starting. You must obey to the latter. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Please pay attention. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. Give it to us media. Do we have a problem? It shall come to pass. Look up please. If thou shalt diligent, hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe and to do. Someone say to do. Please say it again. To do. Speaking is important. But don't stop there. There are always conditions that are tied to the manifestation of victory through scripture. You must find those conditions and obtain grace to do. Obtain grace to do. Obtain grace to do. This is where the incomplete activity of faith has affected many people. Because most of us stop at speaking. The moment you speak, you say, I'm alright. No, you are not alright. No, you are not alright. When you speak, the speaking sends the word to your future. But there is always something to do. I've taught you this. I will keep teaching you. This is how to make the word work. For instance, if you are a young man and you are trusting God for establishment, you find scriptures that tell you you are blessed because you are the seed of Abraham. Step one. You believe it. I am the seed of Abraham. Therefore, what was willed to Abraham through Christ has been given to me. You have done well. You believe it. You speak it. But if you stop there, you will still struggle. The Bible says, a diligent hand shall be made fat. So you don't just stop by speaking and say, I prosper and remain in the room waiting for money to come and meet you. No. In the name of Jesus, I have ideas, I obtain grace. And you stand up by faith. 
you apply for a job here and there you write businesses here and there ah what is the next step then the holy ghost speaks to you in the multitude of counsel there is safety with wise counsel wage war you go and meet someone who is succeeding how can you help me to get out of this situation you are taking a step that is committing god but just speaking and saying the name of jesus i will not be poor you may get trickles of blessings one ten thousand someone will send your destiny will need more than that you see why many of us don't get results yes you are a preacher in the name of jesus god is bringing me growth god is bringing me increase after speaking like that and you obtain grace there must be a strategy that you invent by the spirit for in gathering souls will not just come seated in there the holy ghost and angels are ready there but there has to be a system that you engage by the wisdom of god and there are many systems for in gathering the principal system for in gathering is signs and wonders and then you can compel men and tell them come see a man that's what the woman did how did the man in Gadara bring 10 cities to Jesus how did a prostitute without a Bible school gather people to come to Jesus by word of mouth that means word of mouth is powerful when testimonies meet with verbal invitations they will produce levels of in gathering beyond your imagination that's how and why many of you are here today are we together you are a father you are trusting god to end this drought in your family okay in the name of jesus christ lord i receive wisdom the times may seem hard but i obtain grace you cross your legs there your children your wife your family will suffer and the bible says if you cannot cater for your family you have denied the faith and you are worse than an infidel so what do you do in the name of jesus christ there has to be a way out good understanding procured favor the way of the transgressor is hard i don't have money but what is the cheapest spiritual currency i can begin to build relationships if you don't have money you should have relationships somebody should love you and like you or love your wife and children enough to say not when i'm alive i will never allow you beg for bread i can't say i will give you a house and cars but i will make sure if it's food at least you can eat while you think if you don't have money and you don't have relationships you are already on your way to die money is not everything believers lend this money is not everything many of us would throw away god throw away the holy spirit throw away valuable people because of money are we learning everybody say obedience two more scriptures second corinthians chapter 10 and verse 6 second corinthians chapter 10 and verse 6 the bible says and having the readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is complete perfected or fulfilled you don't have the right to judge disobedience and the spirit that works in sons of disobedience until your obedience is complete everybody say complete obedience john 13 and verse 17 john chapter 13 and verse 17 is projected if you can see it let's read together ready one to read if ye know these things happy are ye if you do them there are many believers who don't do the word turn to the book of this verse this they will help you complete it but there are no results in their lives because they are not doers it's important to believe of the heart it's important to verbalize you speak but it's also important to obtain grace to do to do you want the anointing in your life you study from scripture what are some of the keys that control the manifestation of the anointing and the miraculous the word of god backed up by prayer and fasting building in the secret place spending time with god is that true just knowing it and you stop there and you say now i know i will be anointed no you have to now do and engage when you spend the hours alone with god building your spirit then you will find out that god will make good what he said now tonight we have come here for a miracle service look up please what is a miracle service it's a service of signs and wonders primarily what do you expect in a miracle service number one you expect salvation 
it is important that men be saved it is impossible to not have one person in this place inside and those outside and those following online who is not willing to give his life to Jesus because in the days of your power the people shall be willing number two what happens in a miracle service all kinds of miracles as much as your faith can receive healing miracles miracles of transformation miracles of deliverance from demonic influences spirits that tie the lives and the destinies of men restoration prophetic interventions impartations of grace so if we call tonight a miracle service it's important that you release your heart the rain notwithstanding the rain should not interrupt you at all open up your heart that within the few minutes we have you see i may not be able to pray for people now because we are congested here but we are going to pray there are things god can begin to settle in your life and as i give you those prayer points please pray passionately don't be distracted the power of god is here you can sit down if you want you can stand if you want but make sure you pray is that true we are going to pray restoration many of us have lost things in our lives listen many of us have lost opportunities Many of us have lost certain levels of graces. Many of us have lost destiny helpers. You are going to lift your voice to heaven and cry the prayer of restoration. Are you ready? Say, Father. One more time. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, restore to my life restore to my destiny restore to my family restore in my body everything missing everything lost open your mouth and begin to pray everything lost let there be restoration restore in the name of Jesus Restore. Restore time, O God. Restore things, O God. Restore time, O God. Restore things, O God. Are you praying restoration? Some of you have lost money. Some of you have lost grace in your life. Restore.